Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect on the Boozle Box. Ooh, money. I like money and this prison scares me. It's been over a month since I visited it and, um, uh, yeah, oh god, it just really worries me doing these. Uh, it's so much fun, but there's so much to do. Um, and I'm gonna really casually play it today, so, um, I hope you enjoy this and uh, we'll just see what happens. Um, firstly, we have a name for the dog we employed uh, last week. Uh, we're going to call it Dog Meat. So our friend from Fallout 4 is going to come and visit us and help us keep the criminals in check. Uh, thank you for whoever suggested that in the comments. I did look up what your name was and I've since forgotten it. Um, I will put it somewhere in the description. I thanked you anyway. It's a great idea and I love it. So Dog Meat. Um, only problem is I think I've forgotten everyone else's name, uh, but yeah, that's what you do as a manager. That is puke. That is a lot of puke. Did I see bubbles coming off of someone? Um, I think we got a bit of a drinking problem in the prison. There's puke everywhere. Can we have a look at the uh, reform programs um, for, for getting rid of puke? Uh, what are they on? Regime policies. Uh, nope. Grants, uh, programs. Here it is. Right. Do we have a, a addiction for alcoholic group therapy? Four in a queue. I think we need to start one of them. Uh, that looks like a good thing to do. Uh, and that will happen in a uh, common room. There we go. Next to the cinema. I think it's going to go down. Uh, so there are a few people in the queue for that. God knows what we actually need for that. It requires a... Uh, yeah, cool. It's fine. It requires psychology. We have that. Good. Hello, Seth. Okay, please go away. Program. So we now have a reform program for alcoholism, of which I'm pretty sure most of my prisoners seem to be doing. Uh, so uh, running another shakedown probably might be a good thing to try and get rid of some of this contraband, which is leaking through some gaping hole into my prison. That is not acceptable. And I'm not talking about the neatly folded uniforms. I'm talking about the floating table. Uh, we'll just have to leave it like that. I suppose it's in the reception area, isn't it? So that's all the new uniforms for the new inmates, of which should be arriving oh, whoops, sorry, at some point. Um, prisoners. Uh, oh, God. It's an intake. That's what I wanted. Go to <laughs> eight hours and we get two. I forgot about that. Oh, our shop is doing... I, I cocked this up last time, um, our shop room, because... Uh, basically I built everything correctly and then unbuilt it and, and it was really stupid of me. So we're going to replace the shop fronts where I actually wanted them because I thought they would look cool like that. There we go. And then I'm actually going to finish it because, holy crap, I spent all of that time talking and none of that time actually building it. So there we go. There's a table and the shop shelf needs to be uh, adjacent to the room. Interestingly, um, it's that shop shelf there is actually not currently classed as part of the shop so I'm a little confused is this not something you build into the wall I always thought it was you know something you built into the wall um, a shop sh oh wait no a shop shelf that is is that no that is a shop shelf again this this that's a shop front <gasps> Ooh, what's a shop shelf then let's type in shop and we can get it all a shop shelf okay Yep, that makes sense. It's a huge shelf where everything goes. I'd, I'd rather like to see that, actually. So let's pop that there and put the table um, at another angle and pop that in there. There we go. That looks better. And there will be our shop completed and done. Uh, we'll stick this in normal mode. We do have a light in there, but we've got nothing to view uh, what's going on inside. So... Let's stick a CCTV camera in the corner there, and we'll get that hooked up as soon as Bob and the gang uh, get on and actually put that in there. Wow, number plates have actually got numbers on. That's cool. We seem to be producing only one number plate. Um, as you st uh, well, as you guys know, fraudery is totally illegal, and we don't do it in our number plate producing facility so that no one can get caught for doing bad things because they all have the same number plate. Not at all. That is not what goes on here. It's not the entire purpose of the prison. No. Uh, last time we also built the dormitory, and then we got a load of money for building the dormitory, and I was happy that we got a load of money for building the dormitory. So, uh, we should probably think about building the other dormitories 
and then the two uh, classrooms in here and possibly three classrooms depending on what the feck these are going to be. I haven't got a clue actually, can't remember. Uh, I do remember that this was going to be our little remote door room. Uh, so let's get our door control system. We'll plop that, actually not there, let's plop that like like that. There we go. And then we'll put a window in at the top there so the guard can actually see out at what the heck he's, what the, what, who the heck he's letting in and out. There we go, that all works fine there. So, let's build this dormitory. Um, we're going to have showers at the bottom, toilets at the top, so we're going to reverse it around in comparison to the other one, uh, which means we're going to need a door there. I believe, yep, those toilets are actually part of that one. Uh, toilet, 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 cool. Shower, 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 shower. And a drain, preferably. Um... We'll put the drain in the shower. I don't think the one, this one's got a drain, has it? We'll pop it there. There we go. We'll just put it in front of the door so it doesn't all flood out when someone decides to open the actual door. So, bunk beds. Um, we'll do it as the same as we had it on the other side because that is the most efficient way, I believe, of actually doing it. I think if we wanted to, we could actually put bunk beds down the middle as well. Might get a smidge bit cluttered. Although, tables would be kind of nice. Um... Uh, only any issue with having tables is there's no room for benches. But I don't know. They kind of they kind of look cool. So we'll just you know we'll add some chairs on the ends of the tables. There we go. And they've got you know something to do. This is the plus one dormitory obviously, and that is the you don't get a table dormitory because I built it over here instead. Um, also going to need some lights in this place and radiators. That is new. Is this a thing? Do we have heating? Do we have to heat things? Oh my god, it's like um, Theme Hospital. We actually have to add heated areas. What? <laughs> no way! Visitor booth? Ah, there's new things! As I said, the new update's recently come out and I um, haven't looked into it. So I apologise for that. But we'll just, you know, we'll figure these things out. I, I actually prefer just finding stuff out. Visitor booth. That is so stepping cool. Let's add some radiators. I'm assuming this is just going to boost the... Uh, did I just see auto-saving and not say hi? Oh well. Uh, this is going to boost the kind of um, level of happiness in these rooms. So yeah, why not? These, you know, I mean, these are these are the, the people that have only done medium level crimes. So we'll, we'll give them some... Um, is that the postman? I think it was the postman. We'll give them some, uh, some radiators uh, so they can have a little bit of warmth. You know, we're not... We're, we're trying to make these people feel like um they've done something really bad and they're probably you know you know you shouldn't have done that but these aren't the ones that have recently decapitated people so you know you've got to be like you know this is a bad place do you really want to spend the rest of your life in here with me because that's what's going to happen and i mean if i was me talking to me i'd be no definitely not and therefore it would be a good thing because then I would never ever commit a crime again. Never have. Never planning on. Uh, which I think should be the outlook of, of everyone. But, you know, shite happens. Um, okay, so there we go. There's our little H's for our toilets and our uh, shower heads. And uh, Bob and Gang and Betty and Co. are all working very fast. I'm going to eat a crisp. Excuse the rustling. Mm. To get that all sorted. Nice and Whatever your name is, you're cleaning. That's good. I'm not going to make this a thing. I've only just woken up. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So dorm B is now is now done. Um, should probably name it a dorm. And also, just notice that we, we haven't done any fancy stuff with the floors. Um, so I think we should add uh, some white tiles. Make it a little bit snazzy in these toilet areas here. There we go. Just spruce it up a little tiny bit. Um, uh, we really do need to clear the kind of triffids that are lining the inside of this yard area. We will make a proper yard area as well. And um, as I said, we're going to turn this up into a forestry area and kind of reduce the uh, size of the kennel up there. Because we really don't need all that space. I've got crisp stuck in my teeth now. Um, I mean, we can reorganize this so that like, this bit of the building is here. And then this tiny part here is actually the, the outside bit of the kennel. Because, I mean, they run around the prison, so they're getting enough exercise. Is that bricks? It is. Hi, Bob. How you doing today? You good? Um, have you put in that door control system? You have. 
Brilliant. Thank you very much. We're going to get some wires. And we're going to add it to there. I think that's currently the only server we have in the entire building. Um, so maybe we should think about adding more? Possibly? Door servos. There we are. All right, well, we'll put a door server on this one, a door server on that one, one here, one here. The in and outs are all going to need to be door servoed. Uh, we don't want to put too many because um, we're going to have the issue of having too many door servers and not enough door control for people. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. To be honest, I want most of the people coming out of these three doors and not the top ones, but for ease of movement, that will probably end up being what will happen. Um, right, let's designate this a dormitory. There we go, dormitory. Um, we'll add the little toilet section. There we go, so you actually do have a toilet. And then we'll designate that bit down there as a shower. Use the nifty little search feature so we can actually find shower. There we go, that's a shower. Um... Also, it might be a good idea to... Logistics? Is it logistics? No, it's it temperature. Oh my god, it's genuinely a thing. Well, all of the people in my prison are going to... There's definitely not pancakes. That is not a tunnel. If it is, that's a bloody long tunnel. Okay, so we actually need to deal with temperature. This is a thing. Um, radiators was... Uh, wasn't it under utility? No, it was under objects. I think radiators should be under utility. Um, that's definitely a more utilitarian thing. And let's just add a radiator to um, bits. I mean, the visitation area, definitely going to need a radiator in it because, I mean, you don't want to be cold. Let's put one in the corner. Um, I don't know what the range on these things is. Uh, holding says, oh, my God, this is a big radiator. <laughs> there, maybe. Uh, canteens, you're going to need radiators. Let's put one there and one there. I hope it's not an object that gets in the way, otherwise this could be quite annoying. Um, where can I put one? One there and one here? Do I need a radiator in the shower rooms? Who knows? We'll find out as soon as these radiators have gone in. Actually, I can just look on this one, can't I? Uh, logistics. Temperature. That looks fairly warmed. To be honest. Oh yeah, it, okay, it just warms it's like that section of room. Um, I mean, it's seven degrees. That's, you know, it's a prison. That's what you're getting. Oh look, it's like spreading out. Oh my god, the cookers have come on and the cooks are gonna die. <laughs> okay, so this room, oh, that's just nifty. Um, people at the other end of the visitation area are going to be incredibly cold, though. Is this costing me a shite load of money? It is, isn't it? We'll stick a radio in the corner there. Um, oh my god, are they going to... Oh, please, please, devs. Devs. <laughs> please, please, please add seasons to Prison Architect. Because I would literally lose my shite if you added seasons to Prison Architect. That's solitary. They don't need a radiator. Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, my brain is just like... Seasons, snow, snowball fights, prisoners making icicle shanks. It'd be amazing. Please do it. Okay, let's just um, continue our radiator frenzy, uh, adding radiators to all of my areas so everyone is nice and toasty because there's nothing more annoying than having a cold room. It actually really, really sucks. That's why my radiator is currently on. There we go. Our whole place is slowly becoming more pink. It's good, and as soon as Bob actually fits the rest of those radiators, we'll have a lovely pink prison, and everyone will be nice and toasty. That looked like a gun for a moment there. It's not. It's a chair gun. It secretly folds down into a pistol and can shoot prisoners. Yes. Um, we need our uh, cameras, security cameras, in this new dormitory. Uh, there we go. And another set here. Brilliant. Uh, and we'll hook them up to our secret control room as soon as that is done. That is a really retarded storeroom, isn't it? Bring them on, we've got like a big storeroom here. We might move that storeroom down into the uh, the the school, actually. That would be a really good place for a storeroom because it's, you know, in the low security area. So it's, it's you know, going to need less guarding. Um, might be quite a good one. Uh, we also need to add a new guard patrol uh, down into... I uh, probably didn't need to go that far. We'll just have it along this edge. Uh, down into the dormitory, so we can get a guard going up and down that. Um, if you wouldn't mind just, like, poking your head in here. Oh, do we have to add another guard to do that? I'm sorry, we won't do that. What was that? Oh, we've had an altercation. 
We've got some seriously unconscious people. Uh, it looks like we need a door servo on that. Uh, okay. Gonna need a door servo. Also, I'm pretty sure, as I said, just getting myself up to speed, pretty goddamn sure that we now have actual guard towers. Yeah. I know, right? Real ones, like not fake ones that I've tried to create myself. Uh, Betty, could you... Oh, I think someone's already on the way, actually. Or they'll be taking that. I don't think anyone died, which is good. Why are you... This this shouldn't be a way you are going um, at all, actually. So let's just... Um, deployment. Staff only. That's a staff only area. You shouldn't be taking that route. I'm sorry. It's just... It's not... It's not a route you should be taking. Can someone please move this unconscious body here? Two hours until we get some prisoner intake. Good. I'll look at the to-do list later. I've completely ignored it so far. Wow. Just hope no one drops the soap. because <laughs> Holy crap. That is quite a small shower. Maybe I need to make these kind of luxury cells into um, showers as well. So they're not quite as packed in. Because uh, that could be inciting violence. George, can you come and... You're just standing there. It's fine. Can you come and um, clean up the splodge of blood? Um, have we got an issue with our informant? It doesn't look like we have an informant. We do have an informant. He's got a really low suspicion level. Okay, that's good. Because I'd love to know some stuff. Let's uh, Let's bring him in. Investigator. Ooh. I want you as an informant. I might chuck you into solitary for... What is this? Serious complaints. Danger level is high. Oops. Oh dear. Wait a minute. Uh, why? Serious complaints. Locked in solitary. Armed guards in service. Uh, suppressed. Uh, needs. Needs, 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 needs. Needs. Food. When's food time? Well, they're coming up to food time now. They shouldn't be that pissed off, should they? Why have we only got, like, one chef? Have we genuinely only got, like, one chef? Uh, Mario, Mike, Manuel, have you all abandoned me? Staff. Staff. Chefs. We've got billions of chefs. They're all just kind of aimlessly... Okay, you're getting stuff dotted around the place. And we should also have... Um, uh, no, it's going to be under logistics, food distribution. Ooh. Cool. Um, that place is insecure, apparently. Ooh, shite. It really is insecure. That door's open. Right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Room quality. They're all red. That means it's good. <laughs> totally, totally means it's good. This is actually a nicer room. See, they've got tables in. They're, they're happy. Chair per four prisoners. Let's see, it's, it's, that's, that's a good room. I told you that was a good room. Um, this isn't actually what I wanted to look at. Prisoner labour. Yeah! Prison labour. Oh my god, we haven't assigned anyone to the workshop. No wonder why we're not getting any money. Let's just assign... There we go. A shop. Two people in there. Laundry! Need a load of people doing laundry, otherwise we're going to get screwed. What's this down here? Cleaning cover. More cleaners. Six jobs. There we go. Uh, let's double check. Uh, this is all the little bits I need to do, because it all gets deleted um, when you have updates and things. Uh, or it did. Bearing in mind, again, this prison has been going since, like, Alpha 3, I think. Um, okay, so... We want to go into policy. Not policies. Programs. There it is. Uh, do we have to do any new programs? Kitchen safety... Let's start one of them up. That's going to cost me money. Yay. Uh, behavioral therapy. There are a lot of people in the queue for behavioral therapy. Uh, hmm, okay. That, that's probably a bad thing. Um, general education. Can't do that. Can't do that. Parole hearings. We'll do that. So it's spiritual guidance. Oh, there are a lot of people in queue for parole. Led by parole officer. Assisted by parole lawyer. Session lengths four hours. Each prisoner requires a visitor table. Uh, require prison... Uh, do I need a patrol, uh, parole room? I think I do. Otherwise, I'm going to get really screwed over if people keep missing their parole stuff. Right. Room requirements, 5x5. Five five, needs a visitor table. Is that it? Can we squeeze that in anywhere? 
Where can we have a parole room? 